Okay, so this is a quick video tutorial uh, for those who have installed all the ESP32 uh, drivers and things like that, um, but if you go into select board, um, you're still not seeing the ESP32 port um, pop up. Uh, and so what you want to do uh, is I have the ESP32 plugged into my computer right now, uh, and there's a good chance that your computer just hasn't recognized it. And so we're going to come down here to the search bar. Uh, we're going to type in device manager. We'll come over here. Uh, and what you'll see uh, is that there's this kind of mystery device that it doesn't recognize called the CP2102 USB to UART bridge controller. Uh, and so what we need to do is we need to kind of update this um, and connect it to the drivers that we installed in one of the earlier steps. So I'm going to kind of show you what you should have. Um, so down here in my downloads folder, you can see I've got that uh, universal Windows driver uh, downloaded. Um, I also right clicked it and did extract all. Uh, and that gave me this unzipped folder here. It's very important that it's unzipped. So uh, what we can do is we can right click here and say we can update the driver. Uh, and I want to browse my computer for drivers. I'm going to browse over to my downloads. And I'm just going to click on this just top level folder and click OK and click Next. And it says that it's successfully installed, which is great. So we should see that kind of change over in just a moment, hopefully. Okay, there we go. Now we see that it's listed as a COM port. Uh, and so I can click on this. Uh, and now I can see that my COM port has loaded up here. Um, I can come over here and type in ESP32. And scroll down to the ESP32 dev module. We can click OK. Uh, and we should be able to upload from here. So let's give that a shot. We're going to try one more time. There we go. So if at first you don't succeed. There we go. And that's it.